That's of course me on the camel in Cairo. Yeah. Me and my husband. That's my grandmother. I am known as Lily Bowman. But between my friends and our Sudanese friends um, and Arab friends, I'm called Le Layla. Because if you write Lily in Arabic, it is Layla, Layla Basioni from Sudan. This is the whole of my family. My, my br eldest brother, who is in London, then my sister in France, myself, and the one in the Lebanon. And of course, there's one Miriam over here, my dad, and my two brothers who are living here around this area. But that was in 1967. Uh, I grew up in Khartoum in Sudan uh, with a Sudanese father and an Egyptian mother. I was born in Alexandria, but grew up in the Sudan. We've been brought up uh, in uh, Catholic schools. And then when we grew up 13, 12, 13, we went to English schools. Our youth wasn't, uh, we weren't allowed, of course, at that time to mix up with boys and have boyfriends and all that. But girls and girlfriends, yes, fine until we grew up, uh, 18, 19. My late teens, of course, I was uh, studying nursing, and then I went on to business, and I ended up coming to the UK because I married an Englishman, because I wanted to marry an Englishman, and I found one that I liked and loved, so I came back. He was actually a doctor, but he gave up being, and he, he made his own company like a medical representative. He was in the Far East and in West Africa, and that's where I was with him. And the Far East, because my son was growing, uh, I didn't stay long, but he used to come every three, four months for a holiday, and that's how we, got, we stayed together. But I used to go out for meals and meet friends, but when he was here, he wouldn't go out for a meal. <laughs> he prefers to cook, so that's it. So we enjoyed life very much when he was around, yeah. These seashells are from Tunisia. I got them when I was diving in Tunisia. I, my husband used to be also a diver and we used to enjoy summer holidays as diving and going to places and to go and sw swim and dive. Uh, and my son also has something now about diving. If you could see, he has loads of his uh, certificates. In Khartoum, you had you were social, but not so much like in England here. You meet somebody and you go and visit them, and you have quite a few friends as time goes by. And with my in-laws, I got to know a lot of friends because they were uh, like in the bowling club, and I got to know all about them and the golfing and all that, which is not is not in Sudan. This was a different thing, quite new to me. Further back, I know from my mother's side that they were uh, Spanish that moved to uh, Morocco because at that time the Spanish, there was uh, some problems with uh, religion and all that. And so they moved to Morocco. That's my grandmother. My grandfather, my great-grandfather is from Russia. Russia, Palestine, Turkey. <laughs> I am what I call Heinz 57. Too many nationalities in me. <laughs> and that's, that's how my, my grandmother met my grandfather in Alexandria. And they married there. And that was that. And that's when my father met my mother in Alexandria as well. And she, they married and they came to Khartoum, Sudan. It is quite exciting because I say with my character maybe because I, I go all over and I'm so soft sometimes. This is some of the good qualities of all the nationalities.
that's it with with uh, different nationalities and different uh, languages you can contact Im- people all the time you know it's not a problem i have uh, 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 italian friends i have french actually my sister is in france lives in france and of course i get i know a lot of and i know a lot of english up in london i know polish because this is my brother up in London. He has a Polish shop and he has a lot of Polish friends. It really was a very nice evening. Before Unity and Vision, I was introduced to Saima and I got to know Saima and uh, her being Bengali. And that's how they asked me, would I join in? So I joined in and so did my son David. He, he, Simon makes him dance Bengali. <laughs> He's not Bengali, but he dances Bengali. That's it. it it's, that's how we got uh, involved all. And uh, with all the do's and that, we all get together. That's why. It's quite nice knowing a lot of people there. But I enjoy Bournemouth. I go uh, shopping there. It's a fantastic home, most enjoyable, especially in the summer. In the winter, it's not. I don't like very much because it's cold. But in the summer, we go to the quay on the boats, go around and enjoy ourselves. My husband had a boat before. That's that's how I got to know all the coastline of from here, or what they call now the Jurassic coastline. But before I didn't call it Jurassic. We used to go to um, Old Harris Rocks and fish there, and all the seagulls would come and eat the bits and pieces. But this place is belonged to my in-laws, and the first time I came was in 63 to meet them but I used to go and come quite often on holiday with my husband until I got married according to the English law because I was married under the Sudanese law and then we got married under the English law and since that time when I had my son we came to live here my life was amazing because he used to have his own company abroad and I was over here and we were, uh, I was from Sudan, we were politically conservative. Uh, coming back uh, to England, I became also conservative and I, I am quite uh, in contact with uh, the Conservative Party, and I work quite a lot for the Conservative Party. But I don't look what's happening now. <laughs> they gave up quite a lot of what we want. But anyway, hope they work everything fine. I hope my health doesn't deteriorate and so that I can enjoy what's left of my life to enjoy my friends and my life. That's it. And I would like to see my son get married, but I don't know what's going to happen. This is all future life. <laughs> yeah.